right, guys. Welcome back to Simply Spiritual. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Gemini. General reading, so it may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. All right, let's see what we got going on for Gemini for April. I just got these two new decks. Ironically, they both have cats on them. So I might be reading out of the book if I have to. Um, all right. What's going on with Gemini for the month of April? Aw, these look like my kitties. <laughs> I have cast both of these colors, so that's so funny. When I saw that, I was like, oh my god! <laughs> Comfort. Take it and give it. Hmm. Anything else for Gemini? I don't know why they make these decks so ginormous. Vanity. It's all about meow. Huh. I'm honestly not sure what that exactly means. Other than vanity would be meeting in vain, right? If you pounce on this card in some way, you may have lost sight of the greatest value to yourself and others. Or it can mean that you have narrowed your focus to only what is right in front of you. Coming nose to nose with the truth that you're inherently good, regardless of your background or deeds, even in spite of shredded toys, you may have left in your wake. Wow. <laughs> it's a good thing. A healthy vanity. After all, you are a lead character in your life story. The role deserves your best efforts and attention. How you how you look your best while acting in alignment with what feels true for you. And hurt no and hurt no one keeps you padding along. Oh my god. It's all about you in that sense. When you forget that Others, too, are playing in their lead roles with you as supporting cast. And you may end up going off the script and spoil the game of chase for yourself and others. Becoming obsessed with looking better, being better, and doing better than all the other cats they may have. It's temporary rewards or a trend, blah, 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 blah. Soon, though, you may come to realize that it's exhausting to keep up appearances and judging yourself by others' criteria. You may never measure up. Even looking in the mirror, you may not get an accurate reflection of who you are. But as you're constantly thinking about they are th how what they are thinking about you. That obsession behind excessive vanity. So. Weird. Someone is. Being obsessed. With. What people are going to think about something. Accept love. Earth magic. This represents kind of like going out into the earth and what do they call it? Grounding or where you walk outside barefoot. It's like coming back to center and realizing. Someone, I don't know. All right, I'm confused. Oops. All right, tell me more here. I'm very confused, especially regarding this vanity thing. You know what? Actually, the first card that came out of that deck when we were pulling was, I believe it was the Judgment card. Um, oh, my nose is starting to itch now. Um, head of the Pack competition. Now, this card talks about someone wanting to win, right? So that could, I know what I'm speaking out right now. Um, this person wants to be the head of the pack. The leader. They want to win. For some reason, someone feels like they're not. Why? What's going on? The woman. The mask. What's his mask? What's his mask? The moon, basically the same thing. But what is this person hiding? Every time we have this in the last reading too. 
what's this person hiding? A man is hiding something regarding a woman, right? Doesn't have to be, whatever, fits your story. But, um, but what is vanity? Like, what does vanity have to do with anything? The man again. Somebody is feeling, I don't know if they're feeling, they're worried about the way someone thinks about them or something. They want someone to think that they're successful. Victory, recognition, success, reputation, win, fame, goals, awards, ambitions, achievement. Someone may want some woman to think that they are the best, think that they are number one, they're the winner. Like it's an ego thing. What's going on here? Not enough. Oh my God. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Someone is feeling like they're not enough. And they're very, they're very focused on that. Like they need someone, they need validation from somebody. Some man is like, they might even be, they might be putting on a persona too. Because that says persona. They might be disguising who they really are because they feel like, who they are is not good enough for somebody. This is perfect timing. That could represent perfect. Keep its arrow. What is up with this vanity thing? And so we have that comfort card, right? Like this, look, this person looks very comfortable. Someone really likes someone here. Keep its arrow and I like you. Someone like really likes someone and wants that person to think that they're, let me make a funny joke. The cat's meow. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's something about being comfortable in their own skin. I can't get over this. looks exactly like my cat. It's creeping me out. Anyways. Um... But why is that? Okay, so what does accept love have to do with anything? Why is this accept love here? Waterfall, flood of emotions. What does that mean, though? Gemini, here you are in your reading. Um, so you need to accept love, or maybe you need to pour your love out. Maybe you need to flood your emotions out. To somebody and stop somebody just feels like someone's not gonna love someone for who they really are is that what's going on here am i getting this right strength that's about ego again someone wants to feel like but why are they not why are they not why are they feeling that way why are they feeling that way Hummingbird, be present. Let's go to negativity. Why is this person not feeling like enough? A child could be something to do with childhood. Why is this person feel like they're not enough? Compass. It could be one of those things where, like, you meet a certain person and that person makes you want to be a better person. But what's going on with these people? Has anything happened with these people? Like, why is this person even failing to feel this way? That came back out. Lighthouse. Warning, make a detour. Why is this person going to make a detour? Uh, ego, again, the lion. Something to do with commitment. Someone made a detour regarding commitment. 
why because they didn't feel like they were good enough that's just sad again with the child thing could be something to do childhood we've had to come out twice now someone avoided something because they don't feel like they're good enough what Wilson Tarot. Judgment. They may be finally making a final decision to go for something. King of Wands. Lovers. They're trapped. Eight of swords in their mind. Someone has some serious ego something or other here because we have all of these. All these cards represent that. Someone doesn't feel good enough for somebody. That's really sad. If we were using the Romance Angels, I'm sure we'd get the card, You Deserve Love. Alright guys, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up in this video. And subscribe to so be notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.